Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Hi guys, in this video, I will explore whether is it possible for me to carry my Afghanistan box camera on my bicycle and go around shooting with it. Alright, so this is the uh, layout of the items that I have to bring if I go out for a Afghanistan box camera shoot. So let me go through the items quickly. So starting from the bottom row, I have my Fujinon 210mm uh, 4x5 lens. Next is the light meter. I'm using the Siconic L308S. Okay, some uh, PVC tape. This one is just in case I need to do some uh, quick repair um, in the field. Uh, this is especially good for light proofing right, because PVC tape the one that I have is actually light proof. As a long shutter release with the air bulb, um, just in case I want to take a self portrait. Usually I just trip the lens with my finger uh, for the normal exposure. But uh, this is a very good for um, self portraits. A hand towel for drying my hands after touching the chemicals. This is a collapsible water container. I think it's 3.5 liter. Um, usually I bring it empty and then along the way I will find some uh, water point to collect the water. Uh, this will be used for washing and all that. This is my paper box. Inside I will cut some 4x5 photo paper. Uh, Uford multi-grade RC paper. I have a few tray here. These two will be used inside the box camera and this will be used uh, outside for washing the paper. This one is a bit higher in height so I doesn't fit into this uh, box camera very well so I use this outside. And of course a funnel. This one will allow me to pour it back into the chemical bottles uh, quickly when I need to move around the location. A dark cloth. And this is a fixer. It's a Uford rapid fixer. It's already mixed uh, 1 plus 9. I'm just putting it in this container to ease of bring it around. This is a developer. This is the soft portrait paper the developer that I have uh, cell mix right so maybe about 300-400 ml inside here and I'll use it for my shoot and of course a timer and a container a water jug for measurement if there's a need to right so this is uh, the kit okay so you can see that I've loaded everything into the box camera and that's how convenient the, uh, the box camera is you can pack um, all the items that you need inside the box camera itself and then just uh, close up the box and uh, be ready to bring it along for your shoot Alright, this is my bicycle, nothing too fanciful. So let's take a look at the rack. Um, below is actually a metal rack, but it's very narrow. This is marine plywood, so it's more hardy. It probably can last longer out with the sun and rain. So I just drill some holes and use cable tie to tie this plywood to the metal rack itself. Um, I also put two stopper here so that when my uh, box camera sit horizontal across it it will kind of stop the camera from moving um, off the rack in this direction so this is um, how I tie the box camera to the back of my bicycle and I put my box camera across it and then I use two elastic cord to tie in two directions right. I have take a short test right to this small exercise corner uh, there's a children playground here and it seems to be quite okay so I will have to try to cycle longer distance and then to see how secure this is so let's do a test shoot and then I can see how the workflow is like if I were to bring this box camera 
on my bicycle for a shoot and this is how I secure the tripod to the bicycle so again I use two elastic cord to tie it to the main frame of the bicycle A few moments later Okay, I fixed up the camera on the tripod and uh, I'm composing this baby dragon playground I featured this playground before in one of my previous videos If you have not watched it, please click on the link on the top right hand corner And back to the box camera On the right, I have the box of RC paper I cut it down to 2.5 by 3.5 inches I simply have the 5x7 paper and I store it inside there and these are my two chemical tray I'm going to pour in the developer and the fixer and we can start to do a test shot Okay, the lighting is a bit flat now because the sun is uh, behind the clouds uh, I'm using ISO 3 for the paper and at F8 the shutter speed will be 2.5 seconds Okay, let's try this and see how it, it turned out Okay, I've set it to F8 and uh, I'm using the bug mode so I expose it for like maybe 2.5 seconds or sometimes for ease of uh, counting I will just expose at 3 seconds Okay, I've taken the shot so I'm going to process it inside the box I will develop it in the Uford multi grip developer for one minute and then fix it for a minute or so before I open up the box to take a look. Oh, uh, quickly wash it in the water here that I prepared. Um, it seems to be a bit overexposed. As here you can see that it's all black, meaning that it will turn out to be very um, white in the positive. But otherwise, I think it looks alright. Um, let me take another shot and maybe just slightly reduce the exposure to maybe 1.5 second, And then we should see how it goes. The second exposure compared to the first one is much better. There's no detail in the Dragon Playground head itself. Of course, the pillar and all these are, will be in dark shadow. But I think that's fine. So I'm happy with this one. Alright, so this is the cell portrait. Uh, doesn't that look too bad? This exposure at one second.
Hi guys, we have come to the end of this video. Please like it, share it, and finally do subscribe to my channel and I see you at my next video. Take care. Bye.